Hey you all, so welcome to my channel. I am Yoshida and this is Norris Cove. So today we're doing our, we're attempting a zero based budget. I wanted to bring you guys along with me as I attempt my zero based budget as a self-employed hairstylist. If you're self-employed, I'm here to help. I don't care if you do hair, makeup, nails, barbering, uh, walking dogs, anything, if you're a waitress, a bartender, and you're self-employed, I want to help you because I'm trying to help myself. So let's go along for the ride. There are so many budgets out there, but they're basically for people who get a paycheck. When you are self-employed, you don't. So I want to show you guys how I created a zero base budget being self-employed. So if you want to see how I achieved this, stay tuned and let's get to the video. Let me back out just a little bit. Um, let me say, excuse me. Welcome to my channel. I am Norris. I'm, I'm Yoshida, and this is Norris Go. So I was sitting here, and I got this little. I guess it's a traveler's notebook insert. I thought it would fit my B6. It does. It's just a little, a, a, a smidget too big. Um, I'm trying to kind of downsize my budget into something smaller that I can carry and I can see all the time. So I said I was, I, I didn't, I never stopped doing my budget. I just wasn't as accurate as I was when I was filming, filming it. Excuse me, I don't know why my words are jumbled today. But at any rate, so I'm doing a breakdown. This is just how my brain works. And in case there are any other self-employed people out there, I wanted to put it on video for you. So I kind of broke, I'm breaking it down. So I wanted to bring you all along with me while I'm breaking it down. Because now, let me show you. I want to have it in my B6. And I wanted the Erin Condren Petite Planner, but it won't fit my B6. I did not want to invest in another cover for it. So... I wanted it to be able to go on my B6 and I can look at it. So I already have a monthly, and this is where I just write out my bills. I still use my Erin Condren Deluxe Planner, so that is just like where it ends up at. But as I go along, I need to be able to carry it with me. So let me show you these inserts. So I have these inserts from the 1407 planners, and this is one of the ways that I track my money. It's daily sales, so I'll put it here. I not necessarily need this, but then again, I do. And then there's another budget section here. And what I did was, it's, it's just um, the month. I write in the month. And then I list all my bills, the due date, the amount, and then I check it off if it's paid. Well, this is fine, but I don't look in here until, like, I really... It's like maybe every two weeks or what have you. I don't know what's going on with the. Hold on. Okay, so I'll look in here like maybe once a week, every two weeks, but not as often. So I have to kind of backtrack and I definitely backtrack in my daily um, sales. I don't know what happened here. So I made a kit. I wanted to make a sticker kit for this so that I'll look at it more often. And this is in another insert from the 1407 planners. This basically says notes. It's just the notes. So I wanted to put it this in the form. So I hope I'm making sense. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer them. So I wanted it to kind of look like the Erin Condren Petite Planner. So it is much smaller but I wanted to be able to see it in that form in my B6. So I made a little kit here and I wrote down my expenses, my estimated monthly income, and I should change that to what I'm doing here, and my fixed expenses, variable expenses, but I think what I should do that will work best for me is to get rid of the fixed expenses because they're pretty much here and I don't know if they're fixed or variable and make this like maybe my weekly check-in on that side and then I have my weekly check-in 
on this side but I may still need this to put down like my goals my financial goals and my debt repayment so I'm, I think I'm gonna leave it this way for now so what I did was so we've seen that I'm just trying to make it make sense for me and then hopefully it'll make sense for somebody else so Again, I was going to put this in my B6, but I needed to do the breakdown first. So I'm using the first page as my budget breakdown and how I'm going to go about budgeting, paying off debt, and things like that. So I figured I'd start off with what I assume that I make. I'm self-employed, so sometimes, I mean, a hurricane, a flood, snow can just alter my income completely. I can go to making, um, I've made this in a week before and then on a consistent basis and then something happens and I'm down to $500. So here lately my income has gone up but it's not I'm not making this a week again anymore, excuse me. I'm making a fraction of this. So this is I want to keep it really low and to me right now the low end of my income is that a month and that's fine. We're going to work with it. I believe that it's well I've learned I'll say oh this thing is really tripping here I've learned that it's not how much you make it's what you do with what you make and I had to learn that the very hard way and I will definitely say that so I'm starting out here on the low end of 3500 a month sometimes it's four in the past it's been five sometimes it's been six but again it fluctuates so I want to start with the low end and work that and try to zero base that um, I don't know a lot about the zero base budget, but I need to make it simple for me. So this is fixed and variable expenses. So I know first thing I put down is my car note and it is 363, I think 80. I have to double check. Um, car insurance and that's my life insurance as well. That it used to be like 217, 212. Now it is 219. And I don't know if that's because my daughter is home from school and they're putting her on my insurance. So what have you. Um, what else is another fixed expense? The sale bill. It's really not fixed, but I'm paying roughly like 262. I'm going on the high end of 262 slash 300 a month. Okay, car note, car insurance, sale bill. Uh, let me whip out, I have to whip this out again so that I can be accurate. Uh, so I'm just gonna put this to, a, to the side as a reference and I pretty much have everything here. Um, my Schedulicity, that is my online appointment book and that is $20 a month. So I'm basically writing out all the bills I pay. Uh, my booth rent, to rent the space, that is $840 a month. With an extra week, it would be, hold on, let me just make sure that I'm doing this correctly. It is 210 a week times four. That's 840 plus if there was an extra week a five that would be $1,050 a month. Okay, I'm gonna keep my calculator right here. Um, we got Cardinal Schedulers Amazon. And then I'm gonna go back and put if it's fixed or variable beside it. Mm, excuse me, it's $12.99. Apple. That is for some raggedy extra storage, it's 99 cents. Uh, I have a Capital One credit card, but I just paid that off. Um, so right now I'm just gonna write it in. The minimum payment on that is $25. I've just paid it off. So I just got it. I mean, I've had it for about a month and a half and I just paid it off. It has a very low um, limit. I'm using it to increase my credit. Um, right now I have Simply Gilded and it is $29 a month. I'm going to um, um, pull that back in about a month or two. I enjoyed the pins, so I want to get a couple more pins. <laughs> um, do I have the gym? So I have the gym. That's $20. I need to go. It's really $19.99, but that's $20. Um, here I'm putting Acura 
hubby. I have an Acura truck as well. Um, my husband took out a personal loan out of on, on his bank in when my credit was kind of jacked um, so that we could get that. That's the best way to do things, y'all, when you need a car, so that way Snatch Wing can't come get your car if you can't pay for it. Anyway, um, that is actually $92 a month, but we pay $92. The car isn't working. Um, it needs an engine or something like that, but the loan is still there, but it's very, very small, and I'm going to get the final payoff from him. He gave it to me. We were at about maybe $1,000 um, or maybe $1,200 uh, a month or so ago, so I'm going to get the final payment with him. And I'm going to start chomping on that as well. Now I have a personal loan of my own of a thousand and I'm gonna put a thousand over here on the side so that when I come back I'll know what I'm doing here and that is about the same as my Acura it's like ninety two dollars a month I'm gonna put a hundred and I have a plan of that we're gonna break it down then we're gonna break it down by weekly and how we're paying this um, we got booth for as we jump simply give a capital on Apple one schedulicity I have schedulicity that sale bill and AFLAC. AFLAC is extra insurance for the self-employed and that's pretty much what I pay um, out a month. So now let's do the totals on all of this which is due monthly. I want to make sure I didn't forget anything. So now I can set that aside. So monthly, so now the way I'm trying to break it down, if Again, if you have any questions, let me know. But I had to make it make sense. But I wanted you all to come along with me while I allow it to make sense. So that in case you're self-employed, we can figure this thing out together. Okay, so I'm averaging that I'm making about $3,500 a month. In my mind, I've already done this a couple of times. I do it often. And it's going to be about $2,000 or $2,100. But let's just add it up because we have some new things. So my car note is $263.80. Excuse me, $363.80, I believe. Um, it's not over 363 so 219 for my car insurance um, I'm gonna put on the high end 300 for my sale uh, $20 for my schedulicity my booth rent um, let's just put 840 um, 12.99 for Amazon 99 cent for Apple, $25 for Capital One, um, which I can really take that off. 29 for Simply Gilded, 20 for the gym, for the Acura, for my personal loan, and for AFLAC. 2000 $60 and 78 cent. So that's what all of this is, and I'm saying that I'm estimated to make $3,500 on the low end. So let's subtract that from $3,500 and see what we got. We have $2,060.78 equals. So we have $1,439.22. Now let's get into the small things. So we're gonna flip everything over. So just some random things that that is not a major bill. So we have gas. I guesstimate, um, let's, I don't wanna call this a random list. Let's see, what should we call it? Um, not extras, but um, expenses. Uh, yeah, variable, I think this is where our variable expenses come in. So let's put variable expenses here. Okay, so we have gas. Now, since I've been helping my daughter out, I've been getting gas like two times a week, so that's like $70 almost a week. So I'm just gonna guesstimate 70 times four is 280 a month. So now we're, we're still on the month. Um, grocery. Uh, my husband helps with the grocery. I end up usually spending, I'm gonna say, 300 on grocery. Okay. Um, miscellaneous things. 
and this is between stickers, me taking the kids to get Slurpee ice cream, just a bunch of junk that I really don't need. Let's see. I'm going to say mm, $500. It was hard to do. Um, that's what I'm going to go ahead and include that with eating out as well. Um, trying to think. What else could did I spend money on? Okay, products. I need to put that down. Um, I've been slacking of getting products, but I need to make a budget of what I'm going to spend on products a month. I'm going to put 200 So, trying to think. This is just miscellaneous. That's just every. That even includes like my car maintenance to get my oil changed, things like that. I know I'm spending about two hundred and eighty dollars on gas. Um, I'm gonna take that three hundred off of grocery and make that about two hundred. Cause again, my hubby help and this is what I've been spending. Like today, I spent fifty five dollars. I spent seventy seven dollars the other day. I just need to tone my grocery list down. So, what is our total of that? We have two hundred and eighty plus. 200 plus 500 plus 200 is 1180 dollars so we have $1,180 in variable and kind of like extra expenses but I had to include my products so uh oh so let's bring over this 143922. I'm trying to get it together, you guys. So um, I'm just gonna put an error here. It was 143922. Subtract the $1,180. So this will make this is making a lot more sense because a lot of times I'm like, I don't have any money. I struggle from week to week sometimes. 1100 that leaves me with $259.22. <sighs> okay, so what's left of this $259? Sometimes it's more, but I need to be able to take part of this and save. I want to take a hundred of this towards savings a month. I could probably do more. But if I can, if there's extra, that's where that'll go. It'll just dump into the savings. Um, savings is 100. And then that leaves us with 159.22 to go to um, sinking funds. So I believe that we have just created a zero based budget. So now let's break down our sinking funds. And sinking funds, to my knowledge, is things that you want to build on for later. So let's say, for instance, you want to do Christmas shopping. You can set up a fund for that. This is just constantly adding to until Christmas comes. Um, for me, I want to do like car, Christmas, a date night, maybe things like that. So being that I have such little that I'm working with, I'm going to put down my car again because car that could be for me gas that can be for me maintenance like I have a maintenance coming up a $60,000 mile maintenance on my truck which is $600 don't have it so I'm gonna have to wait until I can build that up so what are we gonna put towards that so let's take the 159 22 and I think we should put 10 to that. Okay. Uh, Christmas. That's another 10. And then this also will be like my cash envelopes. We'll see. So we got Christmas. Um, I'm going to put down here travel. Like when my daughter is needing to get home. I don't want to have to really use my credit card, so I'm going to put $10 to that. Uh, my grocery. 
this again will probably be in the um well, my pen ain't gonna like but wait a minute i'm gonna put 20 to grocery um i need to set up something for my products um yeah and travel could be anything it could be like if i need to go out of town for business with hair go to a hair show or anything like that or take a class so i'm gonna do that and then to help me bring this down a little bit i'm gonna put products and for products because i'm just spending it kind of like out of pocket right now i guess i better go ahead and do 10 on that so let's do 10. so I'm just thinking, you guys. What else? So I still have a good amount left. Um, eating out. Uh, let me say dates. For dates. I want to put $9.22 only because we don't go out. We were going out like once or twice a month. We used to go out at all and then we wanted to start getting back into having date days or date nights. So um, that's $9.22. Uh, that leaves me with $90. Still, I have $90 left. Um, what can I give more? Let's give the car 20 So let's take another 10 away. Um, travel, let's give that another 20. Uh, grocery products, let's add gas. Let's give gas 20. Products, I need to put 20. Battery's getting low, but we're almost to zero budget, so we got $40 left. Um, we got Christmas travel, um, vacation. Shoot, what was I thinking? <laughs> so I'm going to take this last 40 and dump it into vacation. So I am at a zero budget as a self-employed person. So quick rundown because my battery's getting low. So this is my budget outline for a self-employed person. I just had to figure it out. I knew the best way to figure it out was put it on paper. I decided to bring you guys along with me. This is my estimated uh, weekly, monthly income. Monthly being basically 3,500. These are basically my fixed bills. I have car note car insurance, cell bill, Schedulicity, which is my online app for my appointments. My booth rent runs me between $840 to $1050. Um, I mean, excuse me, $1050. Amazon, Apple, Capital One, um, that is a credit card, which is basically um, paid off, but I will take the extra and possibly put it towards savings. Um, my Simply Gilded is here as Jim. My extra car um, loan, another personal loan of myself, and my uh, medical here insurance for self-employed is there. And we had a total of everything averaging out to $2,060.78. So that left me with $1,439.22. So then we figured in what I pretty much spend when gas, grocery, miscellaneous, and products. That equaled up to $1,180. And we subtracted that from our $1,439 that was left from everything else. That left us with um, $259.22. We're going to throw $100 into savings. And then the rest is for sinking funds, which will go into our cash envelopes, which should be the same. Which is car for car maintenance, Christmas, travel, grocery. Um, products, date, date days, whatever. I should say dates and holidays, whatever. Uh, gas and vacation. So I've basically created a zero budget. I just couldn't figure it out before, but it just, boom, my brain went to working and was like, let's write it down before I forget. So I wanted to bring you guys along. So that's it. So now I can create my monthly and weekly budget off of this. I think I'm going to like this book. I'm going to go ahead and just label that budget. And then what I'm going to do is break it down by week for me. So each week I should be putting in, 
I'm going to divide it up. So I may do a part two to this where we're going to be dividing this up so that it works for me on a weekly basis. Now, we're also going to be doing another part in the series of how can I pay myself weekly. So we need to budget this out and how I need to be able to pay myself. Right now, paying myself will be my savings. And then we'll go to there and we have a goal. We're going to break it all down. So let's get into the self-employment um, budgeting. So this is going to be a new series on my channel. And I hope you guys come back for more and stay tuned for episode two of this series. Thank you all for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, you want to see how this budget is going to work for me on a self-employed, how we're going to zero base this out, how it's going to come all come together in the next six months. And um, I would love to have you come along for the ride. I'd love to welcome you to the Cove. Hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I upload content to this channel. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.